What's up, nerds? Scott here with the first of my Saddleback Leather Bag Reviews. I've been a huge fan of Saddleback's bags for about six years, and I've put together quite a collection, probably most of which I'll review later on. But I wanted to start with my most recent acquisition, the Flight Bag. So let's dive in. If you dig this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more. The Flight Bag is what feels like the culmination of years of trial and error from Saddleback. It's the same over-engineered, ridiculously durable leather you'd expect with no breakable parts. They totally avoid zippers and snap closures, opting instead for buckles and straps. Every stress point is reinforced with rivets and extra straps, and according to their website, they're strict about their stitching, with only five stitches per inch, allowing for more leather in between holes and fewer holes to tear. The flight bag is 15 inches wide, which slots right in between the medium and large classic briefcases, which are 14 inches and 16 inches wide, respectively. You can see here I've got the large classic briefcase, so you can see that the flight bag is a little smaller. At 15 inches wide, that means you can easily slide a 15-inch MacBook Pro comfortably into the main compartment, and if you happen to have a smaller laptop like I do, it'll fit right into that pigskin pocket on the inside. You've got two large pockets on the front of the bag, each of which is assembled separately and then stitched onto the bag. This design is genius because it gives you two extra pockets behind the pockets for things you might need to grab in a hurry like a boarding pass or your passport. The real star of the show here, and the thing that sets this bag apart from most of the other leather briefcases Saddleback makes, is the Gladstone closure. One thing that's always bugged me about my classic briefcase is that the flap tends to get in the way and there's no elegant way to hide it. The Gladstone opening functions like an old doctor's bag, sliding apart with ease and staying open. It really is a game changer when it comes to ease of access. Aside from those key points, you've got two sturdy handles to carry it like a briefcase, a strap to carry it like a messenger bag, a pocket on the back for things like newspapers and magazines, and that's about it. As far as I'm concerned, this is just the right mix of form and function. Everything you need, nothing you don't. Aside from carrying this to the office daily, I recently took this thing on a five-day trip and was easily able to carry my 13-inch MacBook Pro, 11-inch iPad Pro, Kindle Paperwhite, Wine Journal, Personal Journal, a bag with all my cables, chargers, and adapters, vitamins and other meds, a magazine, a hat, and even my Hydro Flask water bottle. It got a little tight on the interior compartment, but again, it was everything I needed and nothing I didn't. Overall, this is just about the best briefcase slash messenger bag slash computer bag money can buy. Granted, it takes a lot of money to buy one. The flight bag currently sells for $589, but with a 100-year warranty and a slogan that says they'll fight over it when you're dead, you can be sure that this thing will last you for the rest of your life, and probably your kids' lives, and maybe their kids. Check out saddlebackleather.com for more info. This is Scott, the Irresponsible Geek. Thanks for watching.